Hi. Uh, so now we are going to look at dynamic routing. Uh, as you know that we have discussed static routing, right? And um, now let's look at what is uh, dynamic routing. As you can see here, dynamic routing is when protocols are used to find networks and update routing tables on routers. So that means it's going to be easier than the static because uh, in static you need to configure right one by one manually, whereas in dynamic uh, the routers will learn by itself. All right, but of course it will be costly in terms of the router CPU processing, and of course bandwidth also on the network links, uh, but with the uh, kind of speed we have these days, that should be taken care, right? Um, now, RIP uh, is known as Routing Information Protocol, is a classical distance vector routing protocol, right? We, we will use RIP uh, in, uh, in the packet tracer to demonstrate the dynamic routing. Uh, so RIP is a category uh, of, uh, you know, uh, routing protocol. Um, so it's called routing information protocol, right? It's a, a classical distance vector routing protocol, which means it uses the hop count. You know, many times we have seen, like doing a trace route, you know, connecting to uh, servers, you will see the number of hops. You know, sometimes if it goes beyond 15, it will just stop. So RIP uses... Uh, uh, I mean the the best hop count, meaning it will determine the best route uh, based on uh, the least number of uh, hops. All right, so that's uh, the RIP. Uh, RIP in fact got version one and version two. We will use version two. All right. So two types of RIPs are used in uh, internet works. So the first one is IGP interior gateway protocols and exterior uh, gateway protocols. In fact. In the lab classes, uh, we would be able to explore uh, these protocols, right? Um, this is very important information for you. RIP sends routing update messages at regular 30 seconds intervals and when the network topology changes. So, it's going to be, a, as I mentioned, quite costly to do that, but it's all right. Uh, so, this is the, the function of... Uh, the routing information protocol, right? It uh, basically sends the entire routing table mm, at every uh, 30 seconds interval. So for doing that, of course, uh, RIP uses uh, a broadcast UDP, right? And there are packets to exchange routing information. And as I mentioned, RIP uses a single routing metric called a hop count to measure the distance between the source and destination network. So each hop in a path from a source destination is assigned a hop count value, which is one, right? So this value can be increased, okay, uh, whenever it crosses the nodes. And uh, let's see what's the maximum. The maximum should be 15, all right? If anything goes beyond 15 hop counts, uh, you will see a message destination untouchable, all right? Uh, okay, let's, uh, yes, three prevents routing loops from continuing indefinitely by implementing a limit on the number of hops. As I said just now, it won't, uh, you know, go uh, beyond 15. So there is a limit, a limitation in, in uh, RIP, which is, as I said, the maximum number of hops in a path is 15. If a router receives the routing uh, table update that contains a new or change entry, and if increasing the metric value by 1 causes the metric to be infinity, which is defined as 16, right? So if it goes to 16, obviously, uh, you know, RIP uh, will, will not be able to function in the sense because it will consider as uh, unreachable, okay? So there are three classes of routing protocols. The first one, distance vector, link state, and hybrid, okay? So let's look at distance vector briefly today. Distance vector protocols in use today find the best path to a remote network by judging distances. Right? For example, the case of a RIP routing, which we were, we were just talking about, each time a packet goes to a router, that's called hop. So the route with the least number of hops to the network is determined to be the, the best route. 
So the vector basically indicates the direction to the rainbow network, right? So both RIB and IGRP are distance vector routing protocols. They periodically send the entire routing table to directly connected neighbors. So in static routing, we learn how to connect it manually. But of course, uh, in uh, the dynamic routing, specifically speaking, RIP, we will learn how to uh, do it dynamically. So how to send the entire routing table to all the connected neighbors, right? So take note, right? in the lab, we'll talk about uh, RIP and IGRP. So they are uh, classified as distance vector routing protocols, all right? So let's move on to look at, uh, right, let's look at this uh, design. Um, as you can see here, okay, there are three routers. Uh, the first one is on the left, Penang, I put it as Penang, Kuala Lumpur, and Johor Bahru, right? Now, uh, the this network, all right, this network, it's, uh, we will take it as, Okay, 10, 10 dot, 10 dot, 1 dot, 1 dot, 1, right? That's your interface here. Okay. And the external link from this router, serial linked, uh, is 20 dot, 1. This is 20 dot, uh, basically x dot, x dot, x, right? And then this part is 30, and this part is 40. So 10, 20, 30, and 40. So you've got to take note, huh? And uh, I'm going to assign IP is 10.1.1.10. Okay, so that's class A. Okay, and then over here, it's going to 40.1.1.10. Uh, dot dot one dot one dot also as a class A. Right? Okay, so uh, just take note this is 10. This part is 20, and this part is 30, and this part is 40. So, you got to mention, you know, if you're going to configure RIB, right? Uh, so, this from this router, you got to mention 10 and 20. So, this router, you got to mention 20 and 30. And this router, you got to mention 30 and, and 40. So, that's what you're going to do it. 